Hello, my name is Kelsey Kaysen, and I am going to be talking more about the Riemann Hypothesis. For people who do not know, Riemann's groundbreaking paper about the Riemann Hypothesis was first published in 1859. The Riemann Hypothesis is a deep mathematical conjecture which states that the non-trivial zeros such as negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, and so on will make the zeta s zero, and all of that is lie on a critical line around one half, shown at this picture here. The Riemann hypothesis has thus far resisted all attempts to prove it. I am going to be talking about several mathematicians who has attempted the Riemann hypothesis, but has failed. The first person I'm going to be talking about is Thomas Joes Steelchess. He has published a note claiming to have proved the Mertens conjecture with c equal to one. And that result is actually stronger than the Riemann hypothesis. He did do a proof of the Riemann hypothesis, but the results were never found due to his death. Furthermore, the proof on the Mertens conjecture was also proven false completely invalidating his claim. The next person I'll be talking about is Hans Rademacher, who has had an erroneous proof of the falsehood of the Riemann hypothesis. And he's reported this in the Times Magazine, but no actual proof seems to be present in those papers. And so therefore, his proof has also been proven false. Louise de Bragas de Borsche is a French-American mathematician, and in 2004, he published a 124-page proof on his website. And as of January 2016, his paper entitled A Proof of the Riemann Hypothesis is 74 pages long, but it does not conclude with a proof. Mathematicians remain skeptical and neither proof has been subjected to a serious analysis. The main objection to his approach comes from a 1998 paper authored by two people, Brian Connery and Jean Jin Lee. Jean Jin Lee is actually one of de Braga's former PhD students, and they gave numerical counterexamples and non-numerical counterclaims to some positivity conditions concerning Hilbert spaces, which would, according to previous demonstrations by de Bragas, imply the correctness of the Riemann hypothesis. Lee released a reported proof of the Riemann hypothesis in July of 2008, but it was retracted a few days later after some several mathematicians exposed a crucial flaw. In a display of interest, that his former advisors claim proofs have apparently not enjoyed so far. The most recent proof comes from a retired mathematician whose name is Sir Michael Atia. Michael Atia delivered what he claimed was a proof of the Riemann hypothesis, a challenge that has eluded his peers for nearly 160 years. He quoted, solve the Riemann hypothesis and you become famous. If you are famous already, you become infamous. Nobody believes any proof of the Riemann hypothesis because it is so difficult. Nobody has proved it. So why should anybody prove it now? Unless, of course, you have a totally new idea. Atiyah's self-described simple proof builds on the work of two leading 20th century mathematicians, John von Neumann and Friedrich Hirschenberg, combining their insights in assuming the Riemann hypothesis does not hold, Atiyah claims to reach a logical contradiction, implying that the hypothesis must in fact be correct. He gave a history of the two leaning mathematicians work with the Todd function along with other noted figures in the history of mathematics. 
his proof of the Riemann hypothesis was dealt with in just a few slides and claimed a connection with the fire structure constant. Atia was actually one of the UK's most eminent mathematical figures, having received two awards often referred as the Nobel Prize of Mathematics, the Field Medal and the Abel Prize. He also served as the president of the London Mathematical Society, the Royal Society, and the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Atiyah has produced a number of papers in recent years, making remarkable claims which have so far failed compared to his peers. He hopes that his proof will inspire a younger generation to extend his work to a more general cases of the Riemann hypothesis, as well as seemingly unrelated areas of mathematics and even physics. The Riemann hypothesis is one of the deepest problems in all of mathematics. It ranks among one of the six unsolved Millennium Prize problems. A simple search will yield several claims of proofs, some of them by mathematicians who has worked at academic intuitions that remain unverified and are usually dismissed by mainstream scholars. I hope that one day that the Riemann hypothesis will be proved because it will help with the distribution of prime numbers. And here is my reference page. Do you have any questions? And this is the end of my presentation.